Hi friend, in this video I am going to describe about the DTA algorithm and the full form of DTA is the Digital Differential Analyzer algorithm. First you have to know that what is the requirement of this algorithm. As you know that the, when you want to perform some operation, you can perform in any way but if the direction and the way of performing the operation is provided so it is very easy to do it. So algorithm is nothing but it will be provide the idea how we can implement the things in efficient in correct way because in case of the program that two things are very important one it is known as digital differential analyzer algorithm because here whatever the things that we have to put in form of the digital and also you can use the concept of the differential like the dx and dy every time you are calculating something and also follow the scope based on these two value we have to analyze where i can plot the pixel what was the value calculated from the algorithms so that is the reason it is known as the digital differential analyzer one more important thing that it provides the standard to perform the operation in the algorithm now first i can describe the what is the step you can think about when you want to draw the two line what will be required if i say that when i want to go from one location to the another location what we required a starting address and the then you can go for the our ending address the same case is applicable here we require the two inputs one is the your starting points and second one is the your ending point uh, suppose we know that my starting point and ending point now you have to know that how much how many step will be required to reach that point if i say this one starting and this is the ending so you know that how many step will be required first second third fourth to reach there so this line is doing the same things it is calculating the difference between x axis and y axis in case of the absolute value we know that meaning of that negative will be not considered this is provide that if dx is greater than dy i can say my step will be the this one as my step will be the this one now come for the example by example we can see that suppose these are the two point i can take it now dx become the 4 minus 0 is the 4 and 6 minus 0 is the 6 but here value of the dy is greater than dx so according to this logic it become the step equal to 6 there now up to this we know that the how much step we can go there to reach the our destination now question is that i can go in this way i can go in this way i can also go in in the this way this or uh, this way so three step must be know that so this is known as the your orientation or you can say slope in which direction or uh, and what is the slope of direction we know by using the this line you can see the increment point is that dx divided by the float and step already calculated here and y increment is the same dy float means step it is calculated the based on the here now in this example we know that step is 6 so x increment 4 is the your initial value dx divided by 6.7 and y is the 6 divided by 6 1 is there now after this we have to put the pixel why require to put the pixel because we get the initial value of the pixel because from where i have to start i know that then next step will be there so i can put the picture this is the round of of x and round up of this one if i say in this way so zero zero is the first point that i have to plot after this you have decided here so here i can go and this is the direction i am getting from this part and these are the steps so now required the for loop we know that in case of the program when i want to repeat the same thing based on the certain value we require the concept of the for loop so same thing we are doing to complete the line we require this one p is the zero and how much i can go i already decided here this case dy and p plus plus one here you can see xk plus equal to xk x increment calculated here and 0 0.5 we can multiply again again for this one yk plus one yk y increment multiply 0 0.5 why 0 0.5 multiply this is a form of the td algorithm it always take the half means not positive not negative medium in there and then you can put the pixel whatever value calculated put the pixel according to the round of x and round of y there 
actually this is you can write the k plus one no problem this is also the k plus one go for the example up to this we have calculated now this one i can say something it will be the like the 0 0.5 and also this is 0 0.5 you can plot the first value 0 0 second value of calculated like the 0 0.5 0 0.5 you go round up it become the your 0 0 there so both are you can say more or less same value we are plotting in the first situation now based on the this value i have calculated here we can see first 0 0.0 point will be plotted there we can write the 0 0 here 0 0, 0 0.5 we are getting here now second iteration again for the this for loop we can go for the second iteration second time it will be increased value of x is now the 0 0.5 and value of y is the 0 0.5 there 0 0.5 multiply whatever the increment value of this one and whatever the increment value of this one it will be multiplied and calculate the next floating point so you can see the uh, next floating point is that this one 1 1.5 1 1.67 if you want the in case of the value I can say 1.6 so 1 1 will be plotted there again same iteration if I calculate this two value will become then you can plot it become the 1.2 again based on the this is your new x and this is new y again multiply by the increment and then the 0 0.5 I can get this one this one the 2.5 is the 2 or 3.5 is the 3 now the value of this one multiply by the same increment so you can get the 3.17 4.5 so 3 is the 3 and 4.5 is the 4 there now again same value multiply you can get the result get the result you can say that 3. Point. we have reached the value i equal to c you can exit from the loop if i say i if i exit from the loop what is the structure here now we can see see that what is the structure here if I plot the value you can see first plotting point is the 0 0 this one second plotting point is the 1 1 and third one plotting point is the suppose 1 2 then the 2 3 And I can say that if I plot for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, sorry, and this is the your 1, 2. Now the 2, 3. Now the 3, 4. 2, 3, and then you can say that 3, 4. 3, 4, then the 